Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Souling the Ark. I'm Flinger Fu, and today there's been something that I've been wanting to get for a long time, ever since I first saw it. And it's been just cruising around the island, just kind of taunting me, and every time I've seen it, it's just like sitting there right above me going, Hey, you know what? Look at me. I'm up here and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about the 150 Quetzal that's been over at the, uh, um, over right above the Cave of the Massive, over by the Green Beacon, ever since we first started. And I've been seeing it, and it's been over there. It's been taunting me up in its airborne, wingedy goodness. Yeah, and it just thinks that we just can't reach it. Well, you know what? We have a Tapajara. Yeah. We have Kibble. Now. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. Now all we have to do is just take all this stuff. Well, hold on. Let's, let, let's back it up. Uh, Tapajara. Check. Kibble. Check. Long neck with darts. Check. Quetzal falling out of the sky so where he smacks his face on the butt and he stops uh, um, oh, harassing me with his uh, wiggity goodness. Check. Yes. All right. That's the plan that we're going to do. All right. So uh, let's see. Um, let's get this stuff going. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, uh, Uteranaceus. We've got Lesser Chowder. We've got some honey. we got some measure berries because, yeah, apparently that's what everybody likes. All right. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, hold on, no, we need fiber. We need fiber. Where's the fiber? Where's the fiber? Fiber! All right, um, nailed it. All right, uh, so, uh, let's grab this. Bam. Uh, boom. Take that. Fiber. Thank you. All right, that should be it, I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's it. Nailed it. That's it. Yep, we got it. We got it. All right, uh, let me see. Let me, uh, actually, you know what? We'll just take that out of there. Pop that back in. Let's refill this. And, yep, all right. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of this stuff made up. All right, um, and then the Uteranus, while well, that's cooking, the Uteranus, they've been over here just kind of just chilling out, you know, giving us a whole bunch more eggs. So as they go, let's see, here we are. Always eggs when I need it. And then when I need them in an extra pinch, wrong button. There we go. When I need any in an extra pinch, I can just turn him on to breeding, and then bam, all of them will poop out an egg. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, uh, and which we might end up doing because that'll make everything so much easier. I can get just a whole ton of this stuff going. And yeah, I've got a green beacon over there. I had to get my skins earlier. Yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. I had to get my skins. Uh, let's see. Uh, one, two. There we go. Get this. All right, so hey, I will see you guys in a bit. Houston, we have a problem. I am missing a dung beetle. Did I leave the door open? And did he get out? He is no longer in here. I have no clue where he's at. Dude, where'd you go, man? I was just about to go do a metal run up top, and then I realized, hey, he's not in there. Where did you go? Hello, you guys seen the dung beetle? He's on the loose. He's running. I have no clue where he's at. Thank you. Oh, and do we have any eggs over here? Nope, none. Okay. All right. Well, I was able to actually make up 12 kibble. So, um, oh. Um, I was able to make up 12 kibble. So, I mean, that should be enough, I hope. You know, I should probably just put him down there so he's not going to constantly be getting out. Because I'm always leaving these doors open. But I like having him up here where he can run and he can play and he can frolic and he can hang out with our snail. And then he can do all sorts of cool stuff. Where'd you go? I don't see him. Marla, did you see, uh... Huh. Let's take a look underneath the house. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is the only way I can get underneath here. <laughs> but I specifically left this just in case if something fell. Be like that stuff. I heard poop. Was that a foo poop or was that a snail poop or was that a dung beetle poop? I don't know. He'll turn up and we'll find him. Oh, yeah. He can't stay hidden for long. All right. So, hey, metal run so we can repair our long neck. Because, um, it's going to take us 500 metal, 
uh, to uh, repair this thing. So it's not that bad. I mean, it is still bad. I mean, it's a lot of metal. But it's not nearly the thousand that it took us to craft. So, yeah. All right, so hey, let's get up there. And hopefully... Hopefully we find him. And I need to put news somewhere. News has just kind of been just hanging out. So, I'm oh, giving that back. Give me that back. Thank you. All right, so hey, I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, just keep an eye out for a dung beetle, right? We spot a dung beetle. Just know he needs to be brought back to, uh, yeah, his uh, pen. <laughs> I've got to say, this metal refinery up here, so far, working amazing. I mean, I've got, I mean, just so much metal and stuff in here. And I've just been pumping all the uh, um, levels I get on Scorch Superdodo into uh, weight. And this is helping out just tremendously. This is amazing. Yeah, this is great. I mean, I've got an over one, two, three, four, five, uh, 1,500 metal. Yeah, pretty good. Not bad. All right, the only problem with getting all this stuff uh, brought back is you have to unload it. And that's the sucky part. All right, but now I can actually repair this. Thank you. Thank you. To repair. Thank you. All right. And then, uh, let's see. Let's take that. Put that up there. And then we take this and bam. All right. What are we missing? We're missing wood. We've got plenty of wood. Uh, there we go. Thank you. So we're in here. Get this. Repair. Very, very costly repair. Um, let's see. I have some extra trank darts around here. What did I do with them? I can always make more. I mean, I've got some bullets right there. I've got some more right here as well. I don't need that many bullets. All right, so let's go like this. Uh, taming. Uh, weapons. Ammo. Thank you. All right, cool. Sweet. All right, now we just have to go look for a dung beetle. And then also, we got to head out with our Tapajara. And then... Uh, Drink some water. I love free water. All right, so hey, I'll see you guys in a bit. I found him. I found him. He's way over here. He's making a run. Oh, he's coming back. You're coming home, dude. Did you go out on a little adventure? Did you uh, satisfy your uh, wanderlust kind of thing? Yeah? Foo, wait right here. I got to carry this dude. All right, I'll be right back, Foo. Be right back for you, Foo. Don't go anywhere. Don't die. All right, we got this, man. All right. Oh, jeez. Dude, you know what? Stay in there, all right? Thank you, Rainbow Poop. All right, so let's grab the uh, um, darts. Let's grab the foo. Um, actually, foo, I think you're probably going to have to stay here. I'm going to take uh, Taming Buddy just in case um, if I don't have enough kibble. Let's see. Let's grab this. Uh, bam. Uh, where's the kibble? Kibble's right here. Got it. Uh, let's see. Okay, taming buddy. You have levels. Thank you. Come on. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Sorry, didn't mean to smack your face. Alright, it just happens. Uh, let's see. Uh, trink darts. Nailed it. And now I think we're ready to go. Alright. Oh, hold, whoa, whoa. No, we're not ready to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we're ready to go. All right, now this is how you tame a Quetzal. Okay, and then also I got my ghillie on me just in case while I'm waiting. All right. All right. How you doing, ugly stick? Yeah, just hanging in there? Oh, look at you, buddy. You got levels and everything. Dang, man, you're turning out to be kind of a winner. Um, you know what? We'll be right back. I, I can't throw away the spoiled meat. Super Dodo, hold this. Thank you. All right, let's get heading out. Come on, buddy. Let's go see if we can find this dude. Yeah. All right, so now we're over here by the green obelisk. Now I just have to find this guy. And this guy, he's been just constantly over here, you know, just cruising back and forth, you know, catching the breeze, you know, enjoying the sunshine. And it, it, it yeah, this guy needs to go down. 
We just have to find him first, though. He's been over here. There's been a 150 over here for a long time. I mean, I've, I've shown him on video quite a few times. I think three or four episodes have had him in it. And he's just been over here. And we need to find him and get him... Make, make him our buddy. Yeah, now that we've actually got all the stuff to do it... Okay, just had to make sure I brought my kibble. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let me see if I can find this guy. All right. Apparently, she was over the water. And now I've kind of, like, worked her... Well... I followed her, so where she's coming back in over here. Let's see. Um. Oh. Let's see if we can do this. Where are you going? I'm on. There we go. Not missed. There we go. I want to shoot just right up above it because remember, she's a moving target. By the time the dart hits it, she'll have already moved into that spot. All right, but we got to really lay into her. Of course, she gets those redwoods. Gotcha. All right, come on. Not in the trees, not in the trees. Oh, got her still. Okay, she's moving way off to the side. She's definitely going to 50 50 right now. Let's let uh, the aggro fade where we can get caught up a little bit. There she goes. Gonna slow down now, then we can catch up. Simmer down now. We got this. There we go. All right, now we're back caught up. Come on. And she's going to have lost a little bit of torpor from that. But it should be fine. I'm just worried about the uh, thylacolio in the redwoods. Because you know that's going to be a thing. Right, come on. going now hey, if you don't want to go to the redwoods I'm fine with that absolutely fine with that come on oh, no there she goes oh and she's down Oh, crap. Uh 
Come on. Come on. Okay, so we're gonna have to box her in. Alright, let's do this. Alright. We're gonna have to wake her up. Because I know she got hit a lot. But she's also gonna be hungry. Alright, let's keep... What, what's your torpor looking like, girl? Let me take a look here in one sec. I'm just gonna make a ton of thatch, but I can't believe we got set upon by stupid raptors. That sucks. But this is not a problem we cannot. We, this isn't. This is a problem we can totally overcome. There we go. All right. I just tore poor girl. Torpor's fine. For now, let's get some thatch. Let's get some wood. Oh, you scared me. All right. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Um, what? That's your Torpor. Torpor's doing good, girl. Okay. Seriously? Let's see. All right, so we've got ceilings going. Actually, you know what? Let's get... There we go. Just where we have that if we need it. And we're just going to box her in. We're just going to build a tiny little cage around her to where she can't... When she wakes up, she can't go anywhere. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can get this sorted out. Let's see. Ah... Oh, wrong button. Come on. No, 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 no. Stop. Seriously? Alright, let's just see. Can we actually land up here? No. There we go. Thank you. Thank you! Alright, let's see. I just don't want her to being able to... Wrong button! I just don't want her to, e to even be able to move when she finally gets up. You freaking out yet, girl? Yeah? Go ahead, freak out. It's fine. Don't worry. That's fine right there. Hold on. Oh, because I. That's why I can't jump. All right. And this is going to work as a little aiming pen for us as well. Here. Thank you. All right. Sweet. Now we just have to wait for her to get up. How are you doing, girl? Okay. All right. It'll just be a little bit. Okay. Yeah. She totally got hit. And I just threw some uh, meat in her inventory just to figure it out. But yeah, I'm just going to let her uh, just completely wake up. Um, yeah. I'm not too... Uh, not too upset about the entire thing. I mean, the, the trap should keep her locked in, which is good. But yeah. All right. All right. Now, um, by me throwing some meat on her, she's not that starved out, but she is a little bit starved out. So it should help us off a little bit when we throw the kibble on her. But 
Um, her torpor is going down really fast. So, but as soon as she wakes up, I want to immediately tag her. Um, that way there, uh, she doesn't just kind of glitch out through the walls. Um, if we tag her, it immediately says, hey, this uh, dino, it tags the, uh, uh, the server and says, hey, this dino is uh, um, being tamed. So where it will not bypass any of this stuff. So it won't just glitch out of the pen here. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I want to stay way on top of that. So as soon as she uh, um, gets up, I need to have a dart in her butt right then. <laughs> All right, almost, almost there. Be 400, 350, 300. <laughs> it's, I'm getting a little nervous here. 200. All right, come on. All right, you gonna get up? Come on, girl. Come on, wake up. So I can put your butt back to sleep. <laughs> Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right like that. Alright, let's just get this girl knocked out again. And it shouldn't take too long like this. Um, I think she took about, what, 30... 30 some trank darts? Maybe 35? But here we can actually just kind of pick and choose where we're going to put her. You know, where we're going to put the uh, darts. So, I mean, I could probably try to go get some headshots. Those would probably help out. Can I hit you here? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Right up top. There we go. Right behind the eye. Well, right in between the eye and the mohawk. Yep. Ooh, lots of headshots. Free headshots. Oh, she's getting damaged. And she's out. Yeah, just a few headshots. That's all it took. All right. Take the kibble and like it. There we go. Ooh, I might need to go get some. Let's see. She already ate three kibble. Three kibble was... Oh, no. That should this should be good. That should... Wrong button. That should be good. Three kibble. Um... Where's my shotgun? Yeah, she's just unconscious. Let's see, how much... Well, she did... Wow, we ended up doing like 3,000 damage to her. Just knocking her out. Okay. All right. Uh, where is... No, that's a true dawn. And I built these up here just in case. All right, let's go get some prime meat real quick. There was a Diplodocus around here somewhere. Where did you... I see you. Hey, how you doing, buddy? All right, let's get you dead. And avoid any poop cow entanglements. Actually, you know what? Let's just pull you over here. Come on. Oh, Alpha. Thank you. There we go. That'll be able to cover the um, rest of it, I hope. I want to avoid that alpha over there. wonder if he's going to be in stasis. That could be wicked bad. All right, but hey, yeah, the little taming trap kind of worked. Not too bad. If that alpha comes around here, I better be ready with <laughs> with the uh, with the bullets because that's really my only uh, defense against that little dude. Oh, I need to grab the prime meat. Okay, yeah, grabbing prime meat would be helpful. All right, so hey, I'm gonna get this loaded up there. We're gonna get this girl tamed. Uh, we're gonna get her back and go get a saddle on her. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back when she's uh, ready to get up. Woo! All right, yeah, not bad. Butzel's pretty good. Stupid raptor. Gosh. Oh, no, you did not. No, 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 no. Get off me. Get off me.
You hit my quetzal! Be very upset. Oh, whew! 99.9. No quetzal hitting here. Alright? Wow. Alright. You know what? And this is how you uh, assert your dominance over the stupid raptors. That's it. I'm just eating your raw meat. That's right. Suck it, raptors. All right. Give me this other one. <laughs> stupid raptors. Holy crap. I'm not even discriminating against poop cows. Get rid of you as well. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nobody comes near my Quetzal. Not again. I'll even eat raw poop cow if I have to. Or maybe I could just, you know, make a campfire. So I can cook off some meat, because I didn't- I only brought ten out with me! And I'm already down to six. But yes, this is what happens. <laughs> I'm a little overprotective of my unconscious Quetzal right now. <laughs> Suck it, Dello! Dude, swear, anybody comes next! To my... Quetzal? My gosh, so what is that? That's like five raptors, seven Dellos, uh, a poop cow that wandered a little bit too close and apparently he just decided he didn't like life anymore. And, yeah. Any... Drudon? Oh... Mmm. Keep walking, buddy. Keep walking. Yeah. No. Other way! And my Quetzal's up! Right as I started killing that true dawn! <laughs> oh, alright! So, hey! We've got a Quetzal! Woo! Alright, let's get her but Hey, hold on, girl! Hold on! No, no, no! Chill out! Chill out! Alright! Uh, let's see. Uh... It's probably gonna break my game. It usually does. I destroy massive structures. There we go. That aggro music? No. Oh, that's the ceiling. One more foundation here. Wait, are you foundation? Or are you... What's holding her up? Oh, here you are. Alright. Now that's gone. Yet another... Are you foundation? Or your ceiling? Oh, that's right. There's one in there. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there you are! I found you! <laughs> Later, dude! Alright. Let's get this girl back to base. Uh, let's throw away a bunch of this stuff. Before I can actually walk. Or so I can actually fly. And then, you know what? I think... Oh, you already have me. But you know what? You can get a little bit more. There you go! Woohoo! Alright, so let's get this Quetzal back to base. And then let's take a look at her stats and everything. And we'll just leave the campfire there. Get him! Come on! Come on! Follow an ugly stick. All right, so hey, I will see you guys back at base. But yeah, if you uh, knock out a Quetzal and it falls out of the sky and it ends up getting hit, that's how you uh, um, reset it. You just build a little thatch hut around it because they're not going to attack the um, the pen. They're just going to... Uh... I I'm encumbered. You know what? I don't need all this stuff. All right. They're just going to, uh, try to flee from you. They're not gonna worry about, you know, hey, this dude's shooting me in the butt. Let's, uh, attack back and let's destroy the pen. Now that doesn't happen. Um, it just, it's just gonna run. So if you want to, uh, um, lock it up into a little thatch hut, it'll work and it works well. All right, so hey, worked well for us. All right, and we're back at base. Let's get this girl down here. Let's get her landed. Pay very close attention to where she lands because... When, she, when they land themselves without a saddle, they tend to go anywhere. 
But yeah, also, we're gonna need a name for this girl. So hey, if you guys got really good ideas for uh, Quetzal names, leave them in the comments down below, and then we'll add it to, uh, we'll uh, change her name to that. Yeah, because uh, right now, I mean, I, I just was going to go with Pretzel. But Pretzel, I've been done, Pretzel's been done to death. So let's get some fresh names on the uh, Quetzals up on this. And also, I'd love to see what everybody else can come up with. It's great. I love doing that. Are you going to land yet or what? Because I'm not going to stop looking at you until you go. All right, well, hold on. Let's learn Quetzal. Let's see. Quetzal, 76. We can't learn the platform yet. Are you just going to sit like that? I already know as soon as I walk away You're gonna go take off way over there and you're gonna land on that island way over there somewhere And I'm never gonna be able to find you so Just hurry up and land <laughs> Just land Do I need to trake you again? Come on, do I need to trake you again? Huh? That's fine. All right, what does it take for the Quetzal saddle anyway? Uh, Quetzal Uh, Silk of Pearls I'm, I know I have this many paste the fiber and the hide 85 silica pearls, that's a steep order. I might have to do an underwater adventure to go uh, get those. Better not take off. All right, let's see. How many silica pearls? I've only got 73! Ah, all right, hold on. The saddles. Futzel right there. All right, I'm missing, oh, I've got fiber right here. And we're missing Delica Pearls. All right, well, hey, you know how we uh, conquer this mountain? We go like this. Put you inside of here. What is that? That's a uh, Why did I take a Uteranus egg for a walk with me? Well, hey, at least, you know, it, it's a walk. All right. Uh, let's go like this. Uh, put that in there, that up there, put the long neck there, we don't need that. And I definitely don't want it in my inventory when we go. Oh, thank you for landing. All right, so, oh, hold on, we go like this. And this is something I've actually been meaning to show for a while, um, is how to do this. Since we already have the Lazarus Chowder from making the uh, kibble, let me show you something kind of cool. Um, right, let's start pumping up your movement speed a little bit. Come on, girl. Wow, did it really take us that long to take the quetzal? <laughs> wow, all right. Oh, I'm looking at the timer and woo, all right. So hey, let's get over here and I will show you a cool spot to go get some uh, silica pearls. All right, and we're back. Now right here, up here on, let me show you, right here on the map. Way up here. Now, there's spots like this all around the island. Um, all around the outside. And, uh, yeah, let's go like this. Pop that down there. And then get out here into the water. Start going down. Now, you can come out here once you have, like, a Baryonyx. You can do this on a Sarko, even. Um, it's actually really easy to do it on a Sarko. All right, you come down like this. Keep an eye on your oxygen. Now, the only thing you really have to watch out for down here is Tuso Toothus. That's the part that kind of sucks. All right, let's see. That's where we have oxygen. Now, you're coming down here. You're looking for these little, like, little cave bits right like that. Baryonyx. See this little enclosed little bit right down here? You're looking for these little bubbles. Hello! Yeah, you're looking for these little bubbles that are coming up from down here, because that means that this is the entrance. Hello! Yeah, suck it, dudes! And then you just come right up inside of here into these caves, and there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Yeah. Silica pearls everywhere, there's oil. Crystal. And, oh, let me get, um, hold on. Let me get Bertha for this. And one of those things. All right. 
But yeah, these things actually respawn kind of fast, too. So you can come down in here all the time and just get tons and tons of Silica Pearls. It's really cool. And I know a lot of people really just don't know about these. Uh, but um, when the game first originally came out, this was the best way of getting uh, a ton of uh, oil and Silica Pearls early on. Uh, just uh, eat a Lazarus Chowder, um, get on a Sarko, and go way down here to the cave. It was great. It worked out really, really well. All right, so I'm going to get this stuff, and I'm going to go back to base, and uh, then we're going to get this stuff crafted up. Um, yeah, and just off that one little trip, 582 Silica Pearls. Super easy, super fast. And I was able to make it all the way down, all the way back up, without my Lazarus Chowder even going down 200 points. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's super easy. But yeah, that's what Lazarus Chowder does. It allows you to hold your breath for a really long time. I believe it's like 10 minutes uh, total allows you to hold your breath. It, it's really good stuff. Stuff's great. All right, Bertha, let's get back to base. Gotta love Alphas on the way home, especially while you have an XP buff. There we go. Thank you. That's all we get. Eh, that'll work. All right, cool. Alright, come on over in here, throw in the, all this in here. Oh, actually, you know what, let me get... Hey, me buddy, what is your problem? He just keeps freaking out. Alright, oh, I gotta take that out of here. Um... And then... Let's see. Battles. Thank you! I saw that out there, Mr. Rex. You just pooped, didn't you? All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, bam. Got this. Put this over in here so we can make more of that. All right. Let's see. Uh, what all else? Uh, put this back over inside of here. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, that back. That back. Thank you. All right. Now let's come out here. Forgot to close my door. But... Yeah, now we got a Quetzal. Let's take a look at her stats. 9384 health. She didn't get that big of a bump in health. But she's got 2160 stamina, 1600 weight. That's not bad at all. That's a great base. And 324 melee damage. This girl's actually not too bad. How much weight do you get per pump? 80. That's not too much. But... Leveling her up, we can do a lot of good stuff with this girl. Holy crap. And I'm going to park her right up here. Yes, where she can start helping us out with metal runs. We'll get her plus an Argent going. Yeah, that'll be great. All right. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for the video. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flick of Foo. And take it easy, everybody. Ah, on our new Quetzal. Remember, we need names for her. Need names. Oh, yeah. Names. All right.